Hi, I'm Joe with FPWeb.net, and you're watching Joe Knows Support. Let's see how I can help you today. Order up. What are we at? Ah, how to troubleshoot email issues using Telnet, not to be confused with Skynet, which my colleague John Connor knows all about and will be explaining to you in the not too distant future. All right, let's take a look. So the first thing we want to do is go to mxtoolbox.com. We're going to find out what our MX record is. So we're going to do an MX lookup. Come down here, and right here under host name, it'll actually tell us what our MX record name is. From here, we're going to open up a command line prompt and actually telnet right into this MX record. We're going to end this MX record with space 25 for port 25. Let's get that typed in. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to greet the server. And the server is going to come back. And then we're going to actually put in a mail from an email address. And then a mail to. It'll actually be recipient too. Now we're going to do it wrong here so we can see what would happen if it's not done correctly. So we're going to put in test at test.com. Send it. And this actually came back with an NDR code. 571. Now, it gives you a high level explanation of what's going on there, but if you want to know more about it, you can go ahead and research that. So, what we'll do now is type in another email address and see if we can make that work. But, unfortunately, since we've already tried an incorrect recipient, we're going to have to quit this session. So you're going to see this fail also. Yep, it failed. So we can't do that. So now we're going to quit this session and start over. So you just type quit. We're going to lose that connection. Now, let's start over and actually do this in a way to where we can see, see what we should be wanting to see. So we're going to log back in, greet the server, do a mail from, a good email address. Then we're going to Pick a good recipient. Once we do this, it'll tell us the connection is good. Now we type data and we can put in something funny like feed me or hello Steven. And then put a dot after that. And that'll queue up the send. That'll go out. And now they'll receive that. We didn't get any type of errors here, so we know that. We know that we're actually working correctly, so there you go. All right. Now, on NDR codes, you can research those online and find out more about them. And that is another ticket served.